So, what's going on today? So what's going on today, Holly? Huh? What are you doing? You a good girl? You being a good girl? You are? I love you. Hello. Hello, my baby. Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday afternoon, January 16, 14, 15, 16. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, it is another wintry day today, and I've been running the fire, staying home today. Come on. Because my sciatic nerve is really painful, and I just took a really long um, bath with Epsom salts and lavender and all this good stuff. Did one active meditation, one like meditation practice and then listened to a podcast about having a purposeful life and then felt better, right? So now I'm walking the dogs and I'm going to do some work for Allstate on my Allstate computer. What are you guys doing today? What's also this morning I ordered a lot of Daniel's supplies. Maybe I'll show you a little bit about, about that process when I get inside. Let you into his world a little bit because he is home today. Today, yesterday, because school has midterms and half days and Daniel's day basically is like two hours long at school this week. Thursday he's going because he's going to have therapy and they're going to have a movie day. But he had like a free period and like it wasn't worth sending him to school, so he's been mellow and hanging out, which is okay because it's cold and flu season, so whatever. It's the way it is. Come on, kids, let's go. Walk, walk. Gotta walk, walk. I gotta walk, walk, walk and run. I gotta chase and play. Play and chase the happy doggies with long hair. Look at them. No, not today. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, not today. <laughs> you are the smartest thing I've ever seen. I swear to God. Haircut? Wanna get your haircut? Wanna go, to, wanna go see Miss Corey for a haircut? <gasps> Henry, you look so pretty. Look at me. <laughs> He's so cute. Come on. We're not going to Miss Corey today. We're gonna call her though. Come on, Holly. Stop, Chase. Oh, come on. You're such a good boy, but you need a haircut because I can't see your eyeballs. It's, here we are out. Hey, you know what? We're gonna have snow. They're predicting 12 to 18, 8 to 12, somewhere like that where we are. I'm not sure. For the weekend. Get the milk and bread. I have to go to the grocery store later. I'm out of some stuff. Maybe John will go with me. I don't know. They're burying their heads in a pile of leaves. You guys, what are you doing? What's in there? What's in there? <laughs> what are you doing? You guys see this? What are you guys doing? What's in there? Holly, Henry. Come on, let's go. So, like I was telling you when I was outside, uh, I thought I would show you some of the things that we order since I did ordering today. Most of this is once a month. I use two main supply places for respiratory supplies and for incontinence supplies. For incontinence supplies, supplies I call a place called Byram Healthcare every month, and I order his diapers, and we get a month's supply. This is the brand. And the brand is kind of limited based on what the insurance will cover, but these are okay. You know, they've been worse, they've been better. This month I actually had to order a sample of the next size up because those are mediums and I think they're getting a little too snug on him. 
In the past couple of years, he's put on some weight since he changed his formula and went on um, a different seizure med. So I want to make sure he's, you know, in a well-fitted diaper and just feels like they're pulling and they're not quite making it. So I'm going to sample uh, two packs of large and then decide if I want to change his monthly order. I'll call them and see. The other thing I get from <clears throat> Byram is the mail guards. And the mail guard is basically like this. It looks like a pad. And for an adult in diapers like Daniel, it helps to absorb the extra at night or when he's out traveling or doing things. It's just a little extra support for that purpose. Also, I, I get one box of gloves a month for the nurses. And sometimes we use them, depends on how bad it is. And I also get these, which are disposable under pads, they call them. But I have a lot of them. We don't use them nearly as fast as we get them, but uh, they come in really handy for a lot of things with Daniel. So we get those. They're like blue. They open up like a, like a waterproof pad underneath them. But these are disposable ones. So that's all I get from the the diaper place so incontinence care so then I use another place for respiratory and enteral and feeding tube stuff for a feeding tube basically every month we get a supply of these infinity light pumps he, he gets a 1200 ml bag because he's around the clock fed so yeah as you can see over here I only have a couple left one two three four so I always try to order a little bit in advance sometimes I don't remember and I'm like hurry up ship it but that's what we have for that and I store them under counters and stuff in addition to the feeding bags sorry for my weird thing here in addition to the feeding bags we also get um, extra extension tubes for Daniel's g-tube so sometimes we get these are the smaller ones with the with the little Y on the end but they have a little Y on the end with an extra port for the medicine. Or sometimes they just look like this, like this, and this. And then there's the bigger ones, like this, which help when you're doing a bolus feed or putting medicine into the G-tube. We get syringes. We always need syringes. Those come with the G-tube extensions. So extensions, three different kinds, syringes, feeding tube bags and when we need them we get this this is a Mickey button replacement kit and in here is sterilely packaged so I can't open it but it's a Mickey button a, a little syringe a big syringe and wh whatever you need to change the button oh yeah these are these are wipes the insurance doesn't cover the wipes these are this comes out of my pocket but I realized as Daniel got older that baby wipes just were not cutting it. So in case you're a special needs mom out there and you're interested, these wipes, if you're still using baby wipes, these are called McKesson um, Stay Dry Disposable Washcloths. I discovered them when we took Daniel to the urologist because we had to change him and they were in the drawer and I was like, Judy, these are great. We need to order these. So I looked them up on Amazon and for $17, I think, $17 or $18, I get a whole big box of them, a big pack of like, like I think it's like 10 or 12 packs of 50 and they last forever and they work so much better because they're really big, you know, he's not a baby anymore. So baby wipes are not big enough and these, because they're, they're bigger, the, the packages just last three times as long and the cost of the wipes is so much cheaper than buying baby wipes. So bye bye baby. Anyway, these are really, really good for older children and adults. McKesson, I don't know, wipes. Look them up on Amazon because they're great. And sometimes the price changes a little or you can get more in a pack or whatever. I don't know, but I order these about once a month and they, one, one carton lasts me longer than a month. I was spending a fortune on baby wipes. I've like cut that cost like down to a quarter of what it was. What else do I get? Um, respiratory supplies, we don't order those as much, but when we do, it's 
usually nebulizer supply kit with a little cup for the medicine to do the nebulizer um, suctioning supplies mostly these these and you know the yank hour and the tubing a lot of tubing with this stuff right tubing tubing and the tubing for the oxygen which we always have on canned because Daniel does need oxygen often when he's sick or you know not doing well or has a seizure so I check that supply um, and then these which I actually have to order today because I'm down to my last one so I'm glad I checked because I was like what do I order what can I tell my friends these are finger probes for our pulse ox machine which I know it looks old because it is but it works really really well it's like it's like the ones in the hospital right so you attach it to his finger and you can just leave it going if you want to monitor him and it alarms if his heart rate drops to a certain point or his pulse um, his oxygen level drops so I also have two of those little ones that you put your finger in like when you go to the doctor and they just say put your finger in here and it tells you but um, this is for like when we want to keep him hooked up to it or if I want to cross check to make sure that my number on the finger one is correlating with that that's just some supplies I'm sure I forgot some things but you know this is just one little one little tidbit of managing a special needs person who has medical issues and who is incontinent um, there sometimes are more things we need you know this doesn't even include all of the medication and the formula which we do separately through CVS pharmacy so two pharmacies actually I have, let's see I have two medical supply places because one doesn't do respiratory and the other one doesn't do incontinence right so I, I found two they've been great no problems and then I have two pharmacies but there's just one extra one and that is because one of his um, his nasal spray seizure meds isn't available at CVS so we have to go to a kind of a smaller one that does compounding pharmacy stuff because it's a compounded solution it has to be made every month and so I'm um, two pharmacies and two stores and supplies from Amazon and whatever else I need usually I get it at CVS or Target so any questions ask me some questions I would love to come back and answer them I'm gonna try to upload more videos I got lots of ideas that come into my head when I'm walking the dogs and I'm like I'm gonna go in and talk about supplies but please just understand I have I have a, a job that I go to at Allstate working insurance and then I come here and I work on the vlog and the house and the bills and Daniel and the dogs and Thomas and all of that so my brain is <laughs> sorry it just is but I'm becoming an expert at how to focus and we'll talk about that another day on how I overcome the stress and the things and activities that I do um, for self-care so all right welcome to the world of supplies now I need to put this stuff away and eat my soup what are you doing Henry what are you doing are you sitting with Judy are you being a good boy want to get a haircut do you want a treat? Want some cheese? Mm -hmm. Hi. You have a lot of stuff. Did you hear me talking out there? Mm -hmm. I know. Look, I have my, my tripod on. Say hi to your friends. Tell them you're playing hooky. You playing hooky today? You staying home? Talking about dragons? We should make some dragons. Make some. Draw some. Yeah, he likes that. I put that back up.
as my day has progressed here, I am now preparing this. Presto panko chicken. Presto, I'm sorry. Presto pesto panko chicken. Basically chicken with panko crumbs and mozzarella potatoes and a green salad. I like this one. This one's a good one. And I've been doing HelloFresh now for a couple of months now, right? Like since late summer, September. I don't know. Sometimes I skip a week, but the thing I like about it is everything is fresh and or not processed, right? So like you get salad, like pre-washed greens, or you get potatoes, and they're always fresh potatoes that you have to cut. And the chicken looks good. And the meat is always frozen and pre-packaged securely. So it's so far been okay. Every once in a while, you know, they mess up or something just isn't like us. Some of the food is a little spicier than we like, so we have to modify it. But it comes in handy because I have instructions. And for me, that helps. I'm not a creative person with food. I don't really like to cook. But this allows me to cook and feed the people and everybody's happy and the food is good so there you go food dinner need to eat i don't mind doing it when i know what i'm doing right so okay so the house is warm john's out getting more firewood it's gonna be cold for the next like week he just got home a little while ago and that's what i'm doing and dinner is served Presto pesto panko chicken. Mine burnt a little bit. <laughs> it looks okay. There. That's what it looks plated. More salad for me. Some potatoes that. Um, John's, I have to take the mozzarella out. So his looks like this. Mm. Easy peasy. Dinner on a plate. Come and eat. Thomas is having a saxophone lesson. It is Wednesday. So, Henry, stop barking. 